come back to the Holy Spirit when you fall. You have to make a conscious decision in the beginning from early days is that when you make a mistake that you come back to God. That you come back to God. We have a school here and if you go in that school you will find something very interesting there and almost every single hall they have these things called emergency maps where in case of fire they all know where to go and they have these drills once a month I think there was one today where this, they sound the alarm and it's actually not real fire there's no fire trucks coming but all the kids follow the map and they all exit they prepare for in case of emergency where to go they don't want to go anywhere in case of fire they only want to go to a certain place where they will be safe from the fire each Christian must have an emergency map in their mind in case they make a mistake the emergency map has to be this if I make a mistake I don't run from God I run to God if I stumble, if I fall, I don't run from the Holy Spirit, I run to the Holy Spirit. You have to make that before you fall and most of you won't fall. But in case you do, we are people who live in the flesh. We are people who live in a sinful world and we make mistakes and some of our mistakes are as hard as saying an, a cuss word. For some of us mistakes, some of our mistakes are as bad as stealing a gum or, or saying something gossiping or saying something negative. For some people's mistakes is to simply have an evil thought or something that they've said or something that they've done. But you must understand Holy Spirit knows you are going to make mistakes along your line. He did not chose Gabriel and Michael. He has chosen you, the Hispanic, the Russian, the American. He has chosen you and he knows your capabilities to make mistakes are awesome. And when you make a mistake, you have to make up your mind. That at that point, God knew I am capable of doing that and he still let me have the Holy Spirit. And if I go back to God, he will give me mercy but if I stay in my mistake and think that now I am not worthy to God now I am not good enough to God now God has no need for people like me who slip and slop and flop but God only wants those perfect ones whom you don't know who they really are that in that point what happens to you is that you're there and this is what you're saying is I am gonna get cleaned up a little bit and when I look better I am gonna make my way to God have you ever tried to clean a dirty dish with a dirty rag? It never works. Ask Judas. You know what Judas thought? I betrayed Jesus, took the money that he, he betrayed Jesus with, came to Pharisees, threw the money and he says, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to give all the money away. It didn't work. It didn't work anytime instead of coming to God you're trying to clean it up it only you're only going deeper deeper and deeper there is nothing that can cleanse you except the blood of Jesus Christ and the love of the Father <laughs> nothing I am not excusing a lifestyle of sin but I'm trying to encourage each one of you in order to have a lasting relationship with the Holy Spirit you have to have a map emergency map in your back of your mind if I make a mistake I am not dropping the whole thing I am not gonna lead to another sin no I am gonna get up and go to my father and I will say to my father my father I have sinned against you and the heaven and the father is not gonna slap me and the father is not gonna call police on me and the father will embrace me and I will never be the same as a person there was a time Jesus was eating and the Bible says that as he was eating among dignified people and one very sinful woman came and the, when a woman was sinful in the Bible it indicates the fact that she was immoral now imagine yourself sitting in the room and you're a man and you're son of God you're sitting amongst other men and here is a woman whose reputation is to seduce men and to have immoral things with them and sh this woman comes and without any shame without any ethics in her mind she approaches Jesus and instead of getting on her knees and saying Jesus I'm sorry please forgive me of all my sins she doesn't do that she starts to touch his feet an immoral woman touching the feet of a man immediately everybody around said she's trying to seduce him this is happening right in front of our nose and this man has no idea who's trying to touch him and I, I believe 
you know I wouldn't feel comfortable if you're sitting and somebody is touching your feet and especially a woman who has this kind of a reputation and you're in front of other men and this was the moment for Jesus to save his reputation and to say hey um, tomorrow please please I, I know I know about the past I know about all of the men and I know what happened last night please get your hands off of my feet you're embarrassing me you know what Jesus did he let her touch him dirty hands clean feet he knew the only way this woman will get clean is if it touches something clean and that what she touched was so clean it made every stain every shame and every guilt leave like a stain that leaves you when you take shower And Jesus once for all settled the fact he cares little about his reputation and he cares so much about you and that's why when you make a mistake you have to know there is somebody in heaven who cared little about his reputation in front of his bodies because he cared about your cleansing and he cared about restoring your heart and restoring your life you can never make yourself clean by yourself you can only make yourself clean by touching the feet of somebody who is that somebody is Jesus you must understand when you feel like you deserve God's love the least it's when you need it the most when you need it the most make a decision when you make a mistake the next day you will be first person to tell the Holy Spirit I'm sorry I'm a jerk please change me I don't want to do that again don't let Satan get to God before you and don't lay in your sin too long because remember you got some demons from your past are still trying to catch up and the longer you lay the more time they got to get to you when you fall get up and say Jesus help me and he will help you nobody who walks with God for a long time walks with God for a long time because they don't make mistakes if you talk to every person who walks with God and who has abundant life they'll tell you one thing it's not that they learn to make less mistakes it's that they learned to stay less in their mistakes and as a result they made them so much less the only way to make less mistakes in life is first to know stay less in your